What's up, athletes, and welcome to my playthrough of Beyond Life. I, uh, one of my classes was canceled, so I have a little bit of time before my next class, so I decided to just make a quick video. So that's why the uh, setup's a little different, and my, my mic's not going to be as good, but hey, I got some time. Might as well make a video. Let's hit a new game. Dear Edward, how are you doing, bro? Pick up that antique gun of yours, because I may have some work lined up for you. One of them old Cal-class transport ships will be making a trip to planet Lufan from Thordo. The cargo is apparently very expensive, so they expect a few unwelcome guests in the form of pirates. It's basically security duty all over again. It's an easy job for you, my friend. If you're interested, get in touch, and I'll send you all the details you need. Hope to see you soon. Your loving brother, Maximilian. So, this is, I think the very first FPS creator game ever made. Uh, it was entered into a contest. I can't remember what the contest was, but it was the very first FPS creator contest. Um, you had to make a level, or you had to make a game. It was a single level game on like a very specific, uh, FPS creator works in a grid system. So you had to make a game using, in a specific confine of the grid system. I think it was like, I, I don't know. I think it was like 10 by 10 or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but uh, you had to make it in this specific grid system, single level, However, you, but you could do whatever you wanted in that uh, area. And this game took first place, and it's probably one of the most unique games made on the engine in terms of what they did with the d default assets, which is actually pretty cool. So... I'll come back to you guys once this finishes loading. This level takes forever to load. I don't know why. Uh, it took forever when it first came out, and it takes forever now on modern hardware. So, yeah, I'll just come back to you guys when it loads. All right. <laughs> it is finally loaded. <laughs> that took way too long for what this game is. Um, yeah, so this is not a horror game, which is rare for FPS Creator. This is just a sci-fi game. There was a sequel of sorts made that was a prequel. I think it was also entered into a competition, but it didn't win. I don't remember what the name is off the top of my head, but I will play that uh, at some point. And there were a couple of attempts to make this into a franchise with like a remake being made in Unity and a multiplayer game, but neither of those have ever come out. Um, this game actually once had a Wikipedia page too, but I think that's been deleted now. Welcome aboard, Edward. I'm Captain Streffham, and this is my assistant, Alice. I'm sure Maximilian will get in touch with you soon. In the meantime, you can collect your weapon from the main hall. Dismissed. So, everything in this game is just, uh, the stock FPS creator assets. Uh, that assistant character is, um one of the exceptions, she was from a model pack, but uh, they just retextured everything, and I think they made their own custom assets, too, for some stuff, which is, you know, pretty, pretty cool. You don't really see this. Hi, bro. It's Max. I'll keep you informed of current events using the network feed in your earpiece. You don't really see this level of detail in FPS creator games. Um, even some of the best games pretty much just use a few little bits of custom media. Um, this one, this one really did go all out. We have reports of pirate stowaways on level 5. Joe has the area secured. I'm hoping you can get down there and introduce those scumbags to some Kalmanora weaponry. Uh, so this was made on the very first version of FPS Creator, which, in my opinion, I think was the most stable, but it wasn't the best version. Hi, I'm Joe. I'll make sure none of these sons of bitches leave the area. Best of luck down there. And it was, it was the most stable, at least if you were doing like one or two levels. If you were doing anything past that, it wasn't super great, but it gave you access to a lot more things and it wasn't as restrictive in terms of like custom media. But then when it came to like what you could do, like script wise, it wasn't very good. There's a lot of different versions of FPS Creator. I might make a video about that um, completely one day. It appears they've taken out the lift and joining door. You have to find a way to get in there, bro. Before, please go to the level 
teleport facility in section one. That's crew member four. Thank you. So I, I, I've probably mentioned this at some point, but FPS Creator had a pretty basic physics system that allowed you to do some basic puzzle work with boxes. This is a pretty common trope in FPS Creator games. I think I've used it in a few of mine, and I'm going to definitely use it in some going forward. You just stack these boxes to make stairs. And, I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's a trope. But it's a fun little puzzle. It breaks up the monotony of just shooting people. These pirates are also uh, a, custom, or not a custom character, but a model pack character you can get from, I think they're from the same pack? No, they're not. They're from the first model pack. Uh, the assistant character and the Joe security guard guy, they're from uh, the fourth model pack. <clears throat> it seems the pirates have locked down the loading bay. There is a switch back there which should restore the power. You need to activate the power switch, Ed. Okay, this may be bugged. I don't think the text... Oh, there we go. Do not shake the containers, do not expose the containers to extreme heat. You don't shake the containers? We're on a spaceship. Great job, Ed. Well done and thanks. Now meet me at the level 1 teleporter. I have a confession to make. I haven't played this game in a while. I remember there being more pirates. Huh. Hey, crew member 14, please go to Captain Strefford's office. That's crew member 14, thank you. Four pirates attack the ship and they try to take it over when there's at least two armed guards. Great work down there, mate. I can finally get down there and shift those fire and These pirates had- these pirates were screwed. This vessel is protected. So yeah, something that's just really cool is that I haven't really looked at these and focused on them, but like there's all these different signs that have, you know, like world building. Okay, crew member 17, please go to the engineering facility reception. That's crew member 17, thank you. Like, th there's just these little bits of world building that are just scattered around this single level. Like there were, there were plans, the developers had plans to make more, but they just never got around to doing that. <clears throat> Welcome to a reread kiosk at crew member 24. You have zero credits remaining. The Dark Octopus. Are you smarter than all your friends? Are you yet to find an intellectual equal? Does society bore you? <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, so this other game I played, the demo, I can't find the full version anywhere, called HMS Diptera. Definitely took a lot of inspiration from this, but decided to make it horror-related. Um, which I think's okay. Okay, um, it still has a lot of the same world-building and stuff. It's cool, I forgot about this part. What do we got here? 
World Geography Planet Th Thorgo. Dr. Velo Mysteries. Death by Numbers. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's just a shame nothing more came from this. I think this is where I need to go. Um, Edward, I'm afraid I have to be very brief. I'll explain everything when we reach the other side. I'm about to deactivate the radiation shield in order to teleport through the fracture. Ed, you have to reactivate the shield by putting the switch in Sam's room. You must hurry, Ed. Go now. Welcome. I am the shield activation module. Instability is detected. Human, you must activate the shield at the front terminal. I've never actually looked out here. What is it? Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure if that... No, that is a segment. I'm not sure. Is that? I'm not sure. Retextured Earth, nice. Okay, I'm curious. What is this? Is this like a segment or is this like an entity? It's cool, whatever it is. <clears throat> Alright, what do we need to do? Status. Okay. Human, you must avoid power to the shield. You must contact power using the terminal in the power control room. So yeah, I mean, the story's not that crazy. Like, pirates attack, you kill them, then you're, you and your brother are now being pirates yourself. I don't know why you can just team up with them, but you know, it's whatever, it's fun. No one threatens the life of my crew and my ship. I always thought that Max was a strange character. Had no idea he was insane. I'm gonna take care of him and his accomplice. Are you now? Sorry, Captain. Radiation level is increasing. Environmental conditions at 30% efficiency. Sorry, Sam, can't you hear you. Oh. Do I go this way? Sorry, Joe.
uh, yeah, like I said, nothing's ever really come from this. There is a prequel. Um, I'll try to track it down. I think I have it on my hard drive, actually. But I'll try to track try to track it down. But, man, there, there's a lot of, there was a lot of potential with this, world-building-wise. And it's a shame that it never really took off. Um, I don't know if they, if it's just because FPS Creator is so difficult to work with, or if they just lost interest, or what, but... This game's still considered by many FPS creator fans as one of the best, and I fully agree. This just doesn't feel like an FPS creator game, or it feels like what an FPS creator game could be if you spent as much time as possible or on it. Just everything from the custom textures, the voice acting, that little cutscene at the end, uh, even the minimalistic story. like. I'm not, I'm gonna kind of throw myself under the bus here, but like, if devs would spend more time on that stuff, I think FPS Creator would have been a very welcomed engine in the indie space. But it unfortunately just kind of got a reputation for just having these not very good, um, not very good uh, games made with it, which sucks, because they're, I think it's a great engine. But just a lot of devs never really took advantage of that, and that kind of sucks. But, yeah, um, I don't know if the website that you could get this game from is still up, but I'll definitely try to leave a link for this game somewhere. Um, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.